Hey y'all, so I am an AVID teacher as well as a science teacher and AVID has a lot of great tools that we could all use in our content courses um, that could be beneficial to both teachers and students. And one of those is using icons. So the use of common icons is super important because we have a lot of visual learners and it helps keep things very organized. So I can share this Google Doc as well. But what I have done is I've went through my modules and I've indicated whether it's synchronous two people or asynchronous one. I know they're different sizes. I can't figure out how to make them the same size. So I'll just deal with it for now. So um, whenever I have synchronous, I have my two people. My backpack is something to store for reference um, later, study tools. Um, then I have my composition notebook. For Avid, we have a little binder um, picture instead. So you can kind of have um, whatever kind of icon you want. And then I also like to indicate when they're going to be using their computer. Um, I also use these icons on the module homepages as well. And I'm kind of working through it so not all of them are done. And obviously you're going to use a ton of different icons in one lesson so I try not to clog it up. So what I'm doing is just indicating whether it's synchronous or asynchronous. Um, I always want the kids to meet up with me, so I'm kind of trying to put the double. Um, unless it's a test, they know they have to meet up with me and they're going to be working on their own. Um, so the use of icons is something that can help you organize and give the kids a visual as to what they need to do. So give it a try.